Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be testing out some makeup from Five Below. So I've done two videos like this in the past. My last one was earlier in this year. And so I was there last night and I saw so many new products and I thought it would be fun to kind of make this video again, testing out some new products that I hadn't used before. And everything is $5 and below. Now, Five Below did change their prices recently. So they're still called Five Below and everything used to be $5 and under. And now I believe it's $10 and under so that's still the name of the store is five below but like the prices changed a little bit so just a little FYI so some of their prices went up but like I said with the makeup everything was five dollars and under so we are just gonna be playing with some products I have some profusion here and then I have some other things that I guess are more miscellaneous and more just brands that really are directly from five below so I thought it would be fun just to play with some affordable products and maybe we can find some more hidden gems of course don't forget to grab a snack and let's go ahead and jump into it so we're starting off with a fresh face today so I'm gonna do my brows of course first and by the way if my lips look a little puffy and red it's because they're puffy red and they're a little chapped so I have the beauty treats ultimate brow kit which just looks like this I believe this was five dollars and you can just see it comes with brow powders and a couple other light shades that I feel like you could use to like highlight your brow bone you also do get a little brow pencil in here I don't remember if I tried this or not but I'm gonna use it again today so this is what the pencil looks like I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my brows with this let's do this I feel like this color is like straight up black, but for outlining, I think it's gonna be fine. It actually, it's not as dark as what I thought. And I think, you know, it's definitely doable. Five Below is such a cute store. I actually like when they first opened up, I used to go there all the time, like a few years back. Me and my cousin, like when she was younger, she loved it too because they just have like the coolest things there, honestly, like just little like gadgets and knickknacks and it's so affordable so it's kind of like in a way like a dollar tree but everything's like you know five dollars or in this case ten dollars and under but it's just a fun store so i kind of did like a little shop with me kind of thing so if you're interested i will link my vlog channel down below because i mean i didn't buy a lot of stuff i mostly just bought like makeup but i showed like the five below deals and everything okay this is actually not bad uh, a lot of wooden pencils tend to just like not be good at all but this it's definitely doable so these are creams right down here i'm going to use these two probably mostly this color just because like my hair is so dark i'm going to use a little bit of this just to fill in the brows i'm going to use a small angled brush this one's just from elf and i'm just going to basically just fill in my brows like i normally would oh wow this is like really good i like it you guys know i use pomades all the time i just feel like it works best with my brows but this brow powder is actually like really nice they also do have wet and wild f5 below which is great just because if you ever need some wet and wild products you're on the go they're sold out at like target or walmart and you just need something they have them there and like they pretty much have i feel like almost all of wet and wild products like their full collection okay i just kind of carved out my brows a little bit just to clean them up and i'm really okay, i have a little fallout on my face from the brow powder but i'm really loving the way that everything looks i felt like the products were super easy to work with i mean this is not bad at all, especially for the price point. I like how you get different colors in here as well. Like it's a cute little kit, especially if you're a beginner, like I'm not mad about this. Okay, so now I'm gonna move into the eyes. So of course they didn't have any eyeshadow primer or anything, so I'm just gonna use something affordable. I'm gonna try to keep all the products that aren't from Five Below still affordable just to keep the affordable trend in today's video. Okay, so I'm just gonna prime quickly with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. Now for eyeshadows, you guys, I was so drawn to this palette. Of course, you're gonna see why, but I was shocked that this was only $5. So this is the Smoke and Mirrors, which this is like the Five Below brand. And this is their Sunset Palette. So it's a 12 piece rose gold eyeshadow palette and it just looks like this. And then this is what the colors look like. So like super, super pretty. Of course, they're warm tones, like duh. And then I also was on the hunt for a blush. I didn't see a blush, so I ended up just getting this palette which this is the Beauty Treats face and eye palette. So it comes with like some eyeshadows, some contour colors, and then some blushes right here. So I'm gonna use these blushes later, and then I feel like these could be really good like transition colors. So that is what I'm gonna use today. So like a mixture, and this palette was also $5 or like $4 around there. And so first I'm just gonna take this shade right here just to set my lid. 
just to kind of even everything out and set my primer. And this is really nice because it's like a skin tone shade. So I'm just gonna place that. I smell everything. Definitely has like a pretty strong scent. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is like a really beautiful like camel color, and I'm gonna apply that in my crease. And I'm just gonna use a fluffy Wet n Wild blending brush. I'm just gonna dip in there and blend this out. Okay. Whoa. That is so pretty and so pigmented. I love colors like this. Jumping into the other eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna pick up this shade right here on the end, which is the orange color, and these all have names, so this one's in the shade Passion. Wow, that's a lot of pigment on the brush. I'm just gonna take this random Royal and Lang Nickel brush, and I'm just gonna also kind of buff that shade right in the crease as well. So this color is a little bit lighter than what it looks like on the pan, but like, it's still pretty. It's definitely showing up but I feel like the other color that I used is a little bit more pigmented. I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is called Goals. Okay, so I feel like the colors in this palette, they're a little powdery. They're not like super pigmented. They definitely don't like show up that much, as you can see, and there's quite a bit of fallout. I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna see if a white haired brush maybe picks up the product a little bit better. And I'm gonna use some of this brown shade right here on the end, which is called Plum. And I'm just gonna kinda take that and see what happens. Uh, yeah, so this isn't very pigmented. And this brush that I used, by the way, I just spot clean it. So it is clean and it's just not really picking up any product on here. So let me try to swatch some of these. So. When you swatch them, like on your finger and you touch them, they definitely show up. They are very powdery. So like even like swatching them on the back of my hand, they do like show up, but they don't feel very like buttery and creamy, which, you know, it's a $5 palette. Not to say that like $5 eyeshadows are like terrible, but I feel like this probably isn't the greatest. I'm about to dip into the brown in this other palette because I feel like the mattes in the other palette, they're really not the greatest. So I'm going to try this out and see what we can do with it. So it definitely shows up, but it is very light. It's powdery, you know, you have to build it up, but I'm gonna use a little bit of the black right down here and kind of just see what happens. I'm gonna use a different brush. Oh yeah, that's not really showing up at all. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna dip into this gold shade right down here and see if maybe we can like amp up this look a little bit because the matte shades, unfortunately, they're not really the greatest. So this one is called Cinderella. So I am going to dip and then spray because that is much needed, I feel like, with like most glitters and shimmers. So I'm just gonna use a regular like setting spray and I'm just gonna apply this using a flat concealer brush, just so that I could really pack on this color. That's actually pretty and that's showing up. Oh my goodness, there's actually not that much glitter in here. I don't know if you can see it, like I already made a dent in the product. So yeah, there's like only a little bit of glitter in this palette, so something to keep in mind. Okay, this definitely I feel like helped a lot just because the mattes, they just weren't working unfortunately. I'm gonna do a quick coat of mascara. I found this little mascara trio. So this is from the brand Smoke and Mirrors. So you get three different mascaras. So I'm gonna use the white one just cause like I'm most intrigued by this packaging and I'm just gonna do a quick little coat because I am gonna go in with falsies. So again, not terrible, probably not like the most amazing mascara, but it's definitely doable. So then for falsies, I saw this 12 piece Lash Vault set, which just looks like this. You can see it was $5. I mean, these look really good, especially these right here at the bottom. I'm of course gonna go in with these because I'm extra and they look so beautiful. So I feel like they're gonna be pretty. They look like 
lashes that I typically would always wear. Oh yeah, these are nice. So I'm gonna just apply these and then I'm gonna also do my foundation, concealer, and then we're gonna come back and I will move into the bronzer, blush, highlight, and lip product. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just did my foundation, concealer, and as you can see, I do have my lashes on. I really love the way the lashes look. I'm actually very impressed. They were super easy to apply, and like these are really pretty, especially with the look. I feel like they really kind of brought everything together. I'm so happy with the way the glitter looks also. I feel like that really brought the eyes together because like I wasn't feeling the matte shades, but the glitter just really made everything pop. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. So I got the Profusion Six Shade Contour Palette, which just looks like this. So as I mentioned, Profusion is such a great brand. They are super affordable. You can actually find Profusion at like Walmart, Target, TJ Maxx, like just a bunch of places. And so I saw this palette and I was like, um, I need that. So I'm gonna go into the middle shade right here and I'm just gonna set under my eyes. I'm also gonna set pretty much where I applied my concealer. I was almost going to use a different powder and then I forgot that this comes with some light shades. So I don't have another setting powder, so I'm just gonna lightly kind of dust this all over. Let me actually use a bigger brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that powder just to set the rest of my face. I'm gonna go into the middle shade right here just to like bronze slash contour-ish a little bit. And I'm gonna use a Profusion powder brush actually, which is like, I feel like a perfect bronzer brush. Definitely gonna bronze my chest just because I feel like my face looks a little bit dark. So I'm just gonna use this large ELF 101 brush, which is my favorite for this. And I'm gonna just take that and I'm just going to apply some bronzer down my neck and my chest. Okay, then I'm just gonna take the middle shade and I'm just gonna kind of run that right under here a little bit. I kind of feel like this powder maybe oxidized my face a little bit. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. I don't hate it, I actually like it. I feel like this is gonna be more ideal when I have a little bit more color. I need to self tan, I've, I've been meaning to do that, but. I think that palette is like really nice. Like I said, I really love Profusion. I've tried the majority of their things and I'm always very impressed. For blush, I'm just gonna jump back into this palette right here and I'm going to just mix these two shades right here just for like a natural wash of color. The blush is very light. So just gonna give you a really light wash of color. It's pretty though, it shows up. But like I said, it's very, very, very natural. Then for highlight, I'm actually super excited about this palette. So this is the Smoke and Mirrors Golden Sugar Palette. Look at these shades though, like so pretty. So I'm gonna take this color right here and then this one. So Golden Summer and Golden Bronze, or Summer and Golden Bronze. <laughs> pretty. So I'm basically just dipping both colors or my brush into both colors. Oh wow, definitely have to build it up, but like once you do, you can see it is very pretty. Oh, I really like that actually. I'm really loving this golden bronze shade. I feel like it really truly is like a beautiful golden bronze. So I like that a lot. So what I'm gonna do is just take this white and I'm just gonna be applying that right in the inner corners just for like a little pop. You can see that is so pigmented, it's crazy. Oh, my eyes are watering a little bit. My eyes are super watery, just not because of the makeup, just because my eyes are like dry as a desert and wearing contacts, these bright lights and just wearing makeup in general doesn't help them, but gotta do what you gotta do. Now for lips, I have two different sets of lip products. So I got this little matte lip kit, which is super cute. And then I got this lip set right here. So I think I'm just gonna mix both of them together. So this is the Matte Lips by Style Essential. So it comes with a lip liner and a matte liquid lipstick. Oh, that's so cute. It comes with a little sharpener. I'm gonna keep this little sharpener in my makeup bag, actually. That's very convenient.
This is a little rough not super creamy but it's definitely doable like you know i'm able to work with it so la girl makes really great wooden lip pencils if you are on the hunt for a good one i smell everything clearly what shade is this in it doesn't have like a specific name but of course it is the like pinky nude oh that's pretty it's like a peach This is kind of looking like a spring makeup tutorial and honestly, I am not mad about it. Like I'm loving this like subtle glitter with the peachy lip. It's like March came early. Okay, so it definitely does dry down very quick. Pretty good as far as like being kiss proof. I'm gonna just top that off with one of these colors right here because I'm just like feeling it. And I wanna test it out. So this is the Smoke and Mirrors five piece matte lip color or matte lip gloss. So it's probably like a more pigmented lip gloss. So of course I'm so drawn to nudes. Like whenever I see like a row of lip colors, my eyes are directly going to the nude. Oh wow. It's really not glossy at all. Kind of feels like a soft matte lip cream. Not really gloss. Okay, so two more things and then we're all done with this makeup look. So I did get this Fairy Mist setting spray. So again, this is from the brand Smoke and Mirrors, which just looks like this. I also forgot to mention, I did get like a primer water. This is from Color Co. It's like their facial mist. And I did use this before I applied my foundation. Honestly, the way that it was spraying out and everything, it just felt like a normal, traditional kind of primer water. It has sort of like a um, big red smell, like it smells like a big red gum. So that's what that reminded me of. I mean, not, not bad. I think this has like shimmer in it. So I think I'm just gonna put this on my body and then I think I'm just gonna use this for my face. I don't really see anything. I mean, maybe like more so like outside. Oh, I see a little bit of like a sparkle. It's probably super hard to tell on camera, honestly, but. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. There's a little glitter, I don't know if you can see that. But um, it's there. Oh yeah, okay, so it's like a glitter spray, so I'm kinda glad I didn't put that on my face, honestly. I'm gonna just spray my face really quick with a little bit of this spray. Finally, I just got this loose highlighter. So this one is, again, <laughs> from Smoke and Mirrors. Most of the products are from that brand. So it's like a pinky kind of loose highlighter. The packaging looks like the Makeup Revolution loose powder that they have. Oh, a lot of it came out. So I'm just gonna put some on the lid. Maybe I should try putting some on my body. Oh yeah, that spray is definitely glittery. I can like kind of see it when I go like this. You can see a little little specks of glitter. Okay, I'm just gonna put some directly right on my chest so we can kind of see. Oh, okay, yeah, that's glittery. Oh, wow. Maybe kind of hard to tell just because like, again, it's on camera, but like, it's more so, I don't want to say a loose highlighter, it's more of like a powder with glitter in it. Like, it feels like a translucent powder, and then when you apply it, there's little tiny specks of glitter in it. So I feel like that would be cute. Maybe for like a little girl, you have like a, I don't know, something, something for Halloween, or you just want something that isn't like a loose highlighter. Maybe you just want to look glittery. I think that would be pretty because it's definitely not a loose highlighter at all. All right, guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I am super impressed with a lot of the products that I tried. I think overall, it really just comes down to your technique, your makeup brushes, and how you play with the products, because I truly feel like I made it work. And if I were to go out in public, I don't think anybody would know that I'm wearing makeup, lashes, lip color, anything from Five Below. Like it really just looks like a regular makeup look. So I'm very pleased. I feel like there are a couple things in here that you could definitely find at the drugstore. Like for instance, Walmart, Target, CVS that are a little bit better and just better for your money and like the quality and everything. For instance, like the eyeshadow palette and like the mascara, I would definitely just check out like Wet n Wild, Elf, CoverGirl, like those kind of brands versus these where I feel like you could make it work, but the quality isn't really amazing, but it's also not like absolutely terrible, again, for the price. But like I said, this eyeshadow palette and everything, it wasn't terrible, but you could see you do have to kind of work with it. But I feel like the glitter definitely saved the look. So I do overall, like I said, I really do like this look. The lip color is a little dry, but it's really nothing that some clear gloss can't fix. You just add something over top and you're good to go. I really love these lashes and I really like the cheek products. This is really cute. Like I, I think this is great. And I feel like when I'm a little bit tanner, I would like it even 
even more. And then also this Smoke and Mirrors highlighting palette. This was also very, very pretty. So this is nice. The spray wasn't bad either. And then you saw, I don't know, actually, hopefully you can see, but like my chest is very glittery and sparkly from like the powder and the spray. So I feel like if you are younger, if you're on a budget, if you're a beginner, I don't think the products are bad and you can definitely make them work, especially for the price. A couple little things in here that I could definitely live without, but in general, like I said, you can definitely make it work. Definitely check out your local five below, not just for makeup, but just in general, if you have never been in there, I think it's a great place just to kind of like browse around because they have so many miscellaneous items at a really, really great price and a lot of really great stocking stuffers that I think anybody would enjoy. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you have not already. And that is it. Until next time, I will see you guys in a few days in my next one. Bye.